So I'm at a nice restaurant last week. It's me, my wife, and my four children. I've got three daughters, ages seven to three, and I've got a one and a half year old son. So we slip into the restaurant. Of course, people are a little uh, disturbed by the sight of seeing all these children come in. But anyway, we slip into a booth. We're sitting down and we're deciding on what we want to eat. My seven year old daughter starts doing this. <laughs> while she's in her seat. The people next to us start look, giving us some weird looks and my wife becomes uncomfortable. So I tell her, Kyle, relax. Let her do what she's doing. She's discharging her energy. Better that she discharges her energy than to trap it. Fuck what other, what other people are thinking or whether or not they are disturbed by the actions of a seven year old. <laughs> right? Not too concerned. She's not really causing anybody any harm. Now the thing is that if she doesn't get that energy out, she's going to end up like most neurotic adults who are tense and clenched up, don't breathe deep because we're so worried about our environment, we're so socialized that we're worried about what other people are gonna think about us. So one of the best ways to just get out all of that energy that you've got trapped in you, and you know you have it trapped in you because you've got tense muscles, right? Is to do this. It's called the silly dance just like a silly seven-year-old would do it. You'll know you're neurotic and tense because if you can't let your head <laughs> flop around, you're so attached to who you think you are that you're not willing to lose yourself. Also, the shoulders will be really tense and tight and unable to <laughs> release. Again, if you're trapping a lot of nervous tension. Go home, do the silly dance, and show your friends how to do it too. Elliot said, Elliot. what?